am quite nervous as to how much this is actually going to cost us because this is meant to be a dollar a day and it's really not. <laughs> Good morning from our final day of New Zealand van life. We have woken up in Middle Earth, in Hobbiton. <laughs> this is the Opal Hot Springs Caravan Park right next to Hobbiton. We decided not to make a video about Hobbiton just because we didn't have like a fresh, cool, fun take about it. We did take a lot of Instagrams. So if you're following us along there, you would have seen the entire tour yourself. And if you're following along these videos, you're looking at van life being pretty wonderful. We've stayed at some incredible free campsites. Done awesome road trips and just had the best time doing New Zealand van life. But today, reality sets in. <sighs> we have 10 chores we have to complete before we drop the van off in six hours. We have been surprisingly good at keeping this van clean for the most part, but after being at a proper campsite for less than 12 hours, it's a pigsty in here. So I think the first thing we should check off is pack up all of our personal belongings so we can really see where everything's at. Rubbish, check. Two out of 10 checked off, but the morning is getting away from us quite quickly and we have to check out of this caravan park soon. But before we do that, we have to deal with three van life necessities that we've never dealt with before. This is our second van rental and I've somehow managed to avoid doing this until now. We're listening to like an audiobook and she says to do the worst thing first. So this is our toilet cassette. Might not be an angle you want. We definitely can't show that on YouTube. <laughs> I have a pretty bad gag reflex for a lot of things. That smell has just made it to the top of my list. <laughs> Why didn't you warn me? I thought it was just going to be clean water coming out then. <laughs> the smell of standing downwind of it now. Don't waste a tripler. Downwind of the sewage treatment plant. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. gloves. Oh, great. Apparently it's a chemical cassette or a chemical toilet, so this dissolves everything and makes it more hygienic. Worst part done. Woohoo! Good work, baby. It's very hard <laughs> to go. It's more of a cha cha. <laughs> When you rent one of these vans, you get access to an app. It's the THL app that shows you all the little individual things that you need to do to take care of the van, including dumping the grey water. It's not not gross, but it's actually not too bad. The last job of the whole horror is a lot less icky, but no less important. How fast to do it? I don't know. I guess it just spits back here. Yeah. We are making our way through the list, but it's time to check out and we have to get some K's in. If slash when we have a van, what would I need to do to never be a part of that process again? <laughs> Let me think about that for a while. Damn. So if you'd be a quick answer that you could commit to and I'd hold you to it. It would definitely involve some sort of like cooking and cleaning. Maybe both. <laughs> Maybe every single night. I'll cook for the majority and I'll take care of the interior. So I still like the dishes. Cleaning. I think that's fair. I think whoever cooks doesn't have to do the dishes. I'll cook, you do the dishes. I don't like doing the dishes. <laughs> Starting route to Auckland Airport. In one kilometre, turn right onto Tower Road. At the next stop sign, turn right. You got ice like summer sky. If you smart good. I 
wondered what we listen to on these long road trips. We are big podcast people. Hamish and Andy, The Remembering Project, and this episode of Diary of a CEO with Logue Dot, the happiness expert. Do yourself a favor and listen to it. I'm realizing now that we never explained why we were stocking up on so much candy. It is because my dad is actually from New Zealand, so we had to stock up on all of the Kiwi classics to bring back for him. Okay, back to the video. On the way back to the van, we went to a local bakery and got some baked goods, but we have nowhere to eat it. One of the things on the checklist is to convert that bed back into tables, so we need to do that first. <laughs> I would argue this sausage roll is better than the fairly bakery pie. Wow. But it's because I'm not really a pie guy. I am glad we didn't clean up in here until after eating lunch because there's a lot of extra crumbs. Way worse back there. introduced us to Spoto. I will warn you, once you start playing, that's pretty much it. It's addictive and you can't stop. No matter whether you're with people that play or don't play, I constantly see yellow and pink cars and say, either to myself or out loud, Spoto. in such good time that we actually have time to call off to our hotel that we're staying at tonight and drop off our bags which is just gonna make the journey from the airport back to the hotel so much easier just be us no bags good news the hotel let us drop our bags there so when we come back from the airport we don't have to lug them with us but we still need to fill the car up so one more mission you went past it ah there were no signs all those BP signs Oh, I've got the BP. I've never been to a petrol station like this before. It's just a big tank of diesel, obviously meant for big trucks. I guess we just have to make sure that it's not that super high flow <laughs> diesel, but we'll see. There's a huge truck in our way going first. It just ended. I was gonna ask you what your favorite bit was. I already have my answer ready. Go. The whole Hobbiton and Lord of the Rings experience, I think was my favorite. And we didn't film in Hobbiton, but it was such a cool experience. And it meant that we got to watch Lord of the Rings in the back of our van with cozy like fairy lights on. And it was just such a good moment. And I'm looking forward to watching all the rest of them. I did really like that moment. I think we were both on such a high that night. Like we were just enjoying van life so much. We'd gotten to this caravan park and had all the niceties that come along with that rather than freedom camping. Yeah. And then we went to Hobbiton and it just exceeded our expectations. Does it have a price? This is something we haven't really encountered before. A lot of the petrol stations within New Zealand, you prepay first, it authorizes an amount. And the whole station isn't like a regular servo. It's like a little ATM payment method. And then the pumps and that's it. Nowhere to buy a little treat or anything. Very to the point. Last fill up, only 60 bucks. Nice. You'll notice one thing hasn't been checked off the list and that's because A, we don't know how to do it. B, we didn't use much of the gas bottle. And C, I don't want to spend $50 to buy an entire new one when we've used like say that much. So we're risking it. Starting route to 13 Manu Tapu Drive. At the next traffic lights, turn left. I am quite nervous as to how much this is actually going to cost us because we're about 500 kilometers over our allotted limit. There is also a fee you have to pay, I guess, for camper vans in New Zealand. 
keep that, left onto Joseph Hammond Place, then turn right onto Manu Tapu Drive. That is like a clean energy kind of thing, right? I think it's like a diesel engine thing. A diesel engine like. excess fee. Basically something for the environment, a fee we have to pay, which is great. We should pay something like that. Um, I'm just nervous about how much it's going to come to. Because this is meant to be a dollar a day and it's really not. <laughs> turn right onto Manu Tapu Drive, then the destination is on your left. Moment of truth. Bye home. Love you. It ended up 144. Yeah. We ended up paying $144, so I don't think we paid for the kilometers we went over. I think that's just the tax, the diesel tax. And at this one, they have little used vans for sale. So we've been walking around dreaming about what that life would be like because I'm not gonna lie, the temptation to just buy one and stay in New Zealand was real. <laughs> <laughs> 